On this episode of InCycle, we find out how press from around the world follow the Giro. My first Grand Tour was last year in Tour de France. I'm doing films and videos and, and photos, and we are sharing my experience here. And we bring you all the action from the final week of the year's first Grand Tour. Here it comes from Vincenzo Nibali. Has a little look around. Who fancies this one? Nibali's gone. And uh, who can go with him? But first, we're with Astana, finding out how they keep their team healthy. Astana were one of the major players at the 2019 Giro d'Italia, and that's thanks to having a fully healthy squad. Helped by new partners, Infinity Biotech and their revolutionary disinfection system, the team's bus and hotel rooms were the cleanest places to be throughout the whole race. Infinity è un sistema di disinfezione per gli ambienti. È una macchina straordinaria che ha tolto parecchi problemi nelle sale operatorie anche nei paesi più difficili come l'Africa, come i continenti eh, la Cina, nel, in tantissimi posti del mondo dove hanno dei problemi con l'inquinamento di questi batteri. L'Ebola negli ospedali in Africa, nelle sale operatorie, con il nostro sistema, da questa invenzione fantastica del professor Facchini, ha con il suo protocollo tolto l'Ebola dalle sale operatorie. Quando io ho saputo di questo progetto di, del professor Facchini, ho detto ma perché non lo portiamo nel ciclismo? Nel ciclismo dove io so da anni di esperienza che ci sono molti problemi legati al corridore che si affatica e magari per un semplice raffreddore, magari attaccato da qualcun altro sul bus o nell'albergo così, eh, ha dei problemi. Noi abbiamo deciso di intervenire grazie all'appoggio di Astana in un protocollo che ho inventato io semplicemente dicendo chiudiamo il bus un'ora prima che arriva il corridore lo rendiamo totalmente disinfettato con la nostra macchina in mezz'ora, tre quarti d'ora riusciamo a far tutto perciò abbiamo il tempo necessario anche se siamo sempre di corsa e rendiamo il bus in quel momento lì privo dei batteri che possono far male al corridore. Questo tema è molto importante perché si tratta tutto di cuidare tutti i dettagli un pochino o sea, eh, al final cada cosita pareciera que fuera muy poca, muy mínima, pero al final son pequeñitos detalles que hacen mucha diferencia y, y la verdad que el equipo pues, ha hecho bien, está invirtiendo en, en, en este sistema de, de limpieza, de desinfectar pues, las habitaciones, el bus, todo el tema, entonces es algo muy buenísimo. Però se lo idrogeno è la classica acqua ossigenata, che però l'acqua ossigenata contiene l'argento. Questo perossido usato da Infinity è un perossido privo di argento, perciò privo di qualsiasi cosa che sia cancerogena o metallo pesante. Questo eh, prodotto viene nebulizzato con questa macchina a 0,15 micron addirittura perché riesce a passare attraverso i filtri delle sale operatorie cosa che non sarebbe neanche necessario su un bus o una camera d'albergo. Però la macchina è sempre quella, perciò riesce ad avere un'efficienza eccezionale. L'atleta ha un picco importantissimo di, di, di sforzo quando è in corsa, specialmente nelle, nelle tappe dure, arriva all'arrivo che è molto debole perché ha usato tutte le sue forze e in quel momento lì, in quell'arco di tempo che il soggetto è più debole, come sappiamo benissimo che eh, prendono le malattie, prendono i bambini piccoli o gli anziani perché sono soggetti deboli. In questo caso l'atleta diventa debole nel momento in cui ha finito tutto il suo sforzo e si trova in quel momento di rilassamento dove è facile poter prendere qualcosa. E da lì è nata questa idea che è stata prima di tutto accettata da Astana che sta facendo da cavia però in modo positivo per loro perché stanno viaggiando in un ambiente salutare.
As sporting events go, the Giro d'Italia is truly global. Besides the international makeup of the riders, at least two more pelotons worth of journalists and broadcasters are recounting every twist and turn of the race. And as InCycle found out, some connected audiences many thousands of miles away to this year's Corsa Rosa. My name is Junior Simões. Junimba is my nickname. Uh, I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Junior Simois is one of the newest members of the press pack, hailing from a country where cycling is little reported. Inspired after seeing his first races in Europe, Simois has been trying to change that at his first Giro d'Italia. My first Grand Tour was last year in Tour de France, but I was there with my Colombian friend. We was there just, just to see the race like a fans. In Brazil, we have a, a Twitter account, the name is do ciclismo, that is the best media about cycling in Brazil. If you if you want to know about the, this world, he's a very nice guy from the south of Brazil. Uh, he he is really really a fan. He's really really an expert in the in the subject. And and I hey Bruno, can I use your Twitter to me, to do my presentation in Giro? For sure, do it. However, bad luck meant Simois would have to reconsider how to cover the thousands of race miles. Take a look at my drive, less, drive license in Brazil. My drive license was expired. But in the same time, I saw that this could be an opportunity to, to meet other people and, and not to be inside the car driving for one city and another one alone or, I don't know, getting some rides too, like I'm, I'm doing now. I'm doing films and videos and, and photos, and we are sharing my experience here uh, with them there. あの、名前は砂田譲るです。え、Japanese photographer Yuzuru Sonada is somewhat of a legend in cycling, especially in his adopted homeland of Italy, in which he has plied his trade for decades. イタリアをベースに仕事しようと思いました。なんでかというと当時はやっぱり自転車の中心っていうのはイタリアだったので、それは今も変わってないんですけども、自転車レースに出たりしてました。なんだけど写真はもう本当小学校の頃から写真が好
y luego ya me dediqué al periodismo y desde entonces he venido por lo menos a unos 28, casi 30 giros de Italia. Bueno, nosotros, eh, depende de los eventos tenemos, y de los resultados, pues tenemos audiencias que eh, fluctúan entre 2, 3, 5 millones de, de, de oyentes, ¿no? Diariamente podemos tener 2, 3 millones de, de audiencia y cuando estamos ganando, pues entonces esto se va por allá a 10, a 15 millones de, de oyentes, no solamente en Colombia, sino ahora a través del Internet en todo el mundo. Después de la llegada hay un lugar donde los periodistas podemos llegar, con, hay un monitor de televisión, conecto mi equipo de transmisión y allí entonces ya la parte final de la etapa pues la, la transmito en directo. Tengo un equipo de, de, traba, de compañeros que trabajan en Colombia que van narrando, van comentando conmigo la, la carrera y vamos eh, haciendo todo, todo el, todo el recuento estadístico, eh, historias, eh, paso los reportajes que haya hecho, las notas que haya hecho. En el ambiente del ciclismo, pues, en realidad sí me precio de tener muy buenos amigos a todo nivel, dirigentes, periodistas, managers, ciclistas, y bueno, es un privilegio, eso, eso es como el, el producto de tantos años de trabajo. The Giro's final week saw a change to the profile for Stage 16 as the Paso di Gavia was excluded due to bad weather. There was still 4,800 meters of elevation, though, packed into over 190 kilometers for the riders to tackle. With a three-rider lead group consisting of Jan Hurt, Giulio Ciccone and Damiano Caruso, it was Vincenzo Nibali making moves on the GC. Here it comes from Vincenzo Nibali, has a little look around. Who fancies this one? Nibali's gone. And uh, who can go with him? Well, they're on the real steep section here. With 31k to go, Nibali had put time into Roglic. However, Richard Carapaz in pink was looking comfortable, surrounded by his Movistar teammates. Up front, it was only Hurt and Ciccone left by the Paso del Motirolo summit. Up and across the top. For Julia Ciccone and Jan Hart, the advantage still showing at a, an immense four minutes and 15 seconds. But they've been at front all day. This is a great ride. Nibali couldn't shake Carapaz. Meanwhile, Roglic was limiting the damage. And it's Hurt that makes Ciccone launch. Ciccone going to lead it out. Has Hurt managed to pull a fast one there? Ciccone's going to lead him out. Who's going to be the strongest in the run to the line? Julia Ciccone draws it away clear. Julia Ciccone gets his stage victory at last for Trek Segafredo in Italy. And Vincenzo Nibali is going to just come round him in the run up to the line as we get set to start the stopwatch. And what is the advantage going to be for this group over Primus Roglic behind? Looks uh, as if Primus Roglic is going to slip out of that second place position. I think he's been riding. Uh... Uh, calculated or conservatively, um, you know, he still knows that he has a, a strong time trial to, to count on. Um, but uh, yeah, I think he probably has something planned for these these next stages. But uh, yeah, all the other uh, top contenders are really strong as well. So uh, there's there's nobody you can really count out yet. La classifica va sempre vista da dal basso verso l'alto è vero che bisogna stare attenti che abbiamo dietro ma se si vuole vincere il Giro d'Italia dobbiamo avvicinarci il più possibile al leader in questo caso è Carapaz Tired legs and the prospect of more mountains in days to come meant the peloton allowed the breakaway to go clear A series of attacks fractured the break and with 58k to go Jan Bakalans made his move creating a 30 second gap the chasing group would soon start closing with uncoordinated attacks. The Sunweb rider was caught, but the attacks continued. None 
sustained until Nan's Petters went away with 16k remaining. Chavez finally launches. We've been waiting for this the entire Giro d'Italia. Mikel Lander attacked at the 3k mark, shaking up the GC contenders for the technical run-in, whilst Petters was riding home to claim the stage victory. Nos Peters hears the cheers of the crowd and thrusts his arm in the air because he is the winner of stage 17 of Giro d'Italia. Lopez and Carapaz closed the gap on Landa whilst Nibali and Roglic lost time to the Maglia Rosa, finishing a successful day for Movistar as their grip on pink got tighter. Stage 18's profile looked to provide the sprinters left in the race with a final chance of glory. Voilà, c'est une belle opportunité. Maintenant, la priorité pour l'équipe, c'est le maillot cyclamen. Donc, euh, voilà, ça va être une journée euh, stressante et euh, on verra comment ça se passe. A three-man break consisting of Damiano Chima, Nico Dentz and Mirko Maestri broke with 170k to go. The bunch seemingly unsettled and happy to let them up the road. And the three up front unexpectedly stayed away until the closing straight. And it looks like they're going to be caught in the right of the line, or are they? Chima has the gap. Chima to the line. Damiano Chima! Oh, he's just about hangs on. Damiano Chima gets the victory. He gets stage 18 of Giro d'Italia. The breakaway survived by the narrowest of margin. Stage 19 saw the riders go from Treviso to San Martino di Castrozza. The peloton, controlled by Movistar, were happy for the break to go early with no GC threats in amongst them. At the summit of the Paso San Boldo, Manuele Buaro of Astana went on the attack and established a lead of 20 seconds, but could only stay away for 10k. A series of attacks from Marco Canolo, Francois Bida and Manuele Seni would also come before Esteban Chavez launched his strongest move with 2.7 kilometers to go. Chavez is opening it up again. A little bit more daylight. This is good news for Esteban Chavez. Still about two and a half kilometers remaining. Mitchelton Scott's Giro rescued by the Colombian as Esteban Chavez put a difficult year behind him. Richard Carapaz crossed the line safely with his GC rivals firming his grip on the Maglia Rosa. Stage 20 in the final mountain showdown of the Giro d'Italia. With climbs coming early on, there were numerous attempts at a break, fracturing the race as Movistar attempted to control the GC. However, Miguel Angel Lopez was shaking things up. Here comes Lopez again, dropped to the back, goes again. Immediately Carapaz responds, Lander 2 is right on it. Where's Nibali? Nibali moves across to respond, but Lander is leaving a little bit of daylight. With Roglic struggling to keep pace, it was Lander to make the next move. Lander goes, Lander goes, that's a surprise. Mikel Lander goes to try and secure a position on the podium. The Spaniards stayed away from his GC rivals for six kilometers before Nibali and Carapaz closed the gap. Well, it's back to square one, but it's at what cost to Vincenzo Nibali. That's the thing as bang, they hit the next climb. Lopez's hopes of making moves towards the GC contenders were impeded when a spectator spectacularly got in the way. Up ahead, the remaining riders in the break were closed down, setting up an exhilarating race to the line. It's Lander that goes 
goes first. Lambda goes first for stage honours for the glorious Peo Bilbao. Tries to take a second stage victory of this year's Giro d'Italia. It's going to be between Lambda and Bilbao. To the line, two Spaniards from rival teams. And uh, Lambda's going to have to give best to Peo Bilbao. Peo Bilbao gets up to take it for the Astana team. But what a great stage it's been for Carabas in the defence of his overall lead of the Giro d'Italia. The pink jersey all but secured for Carapaz going into stage 21's time trial. The final stage had the riders on a 17-kilometer route around Verona, with the Malia Rosa sure to be with Ecuadorian Carapaz come the finish, barring disaster. Lotto Sudal's Victor Campanet set the pace as Team Sunweb's Chad Harger was undergoing the ride of his life to save his team's 2019 Giro. The hour record holder Campanets came in with a time of 22.11, which the American Hager betted by four seconds, setting up an anxious wait for the Sunweb man as Primoz Roglic, riding for a GC podium spot, got underway. Mikel Lander is off the ramp and into action. He's on the podium, but he knows that Primoz Roglic is threatening that podium position. Vincenzo in Italy begins his 17-kilometer bid for glory today. Nibali and Carapaz's places never seemed in doubt as Roglic looked to knock Landa off the podium. With the Slovenian finishing at 22.33, the stage was surely Chad Hargis. He's not quite going to get there. He's going to slip behind Primoz Roglic as Mikel Landa on the run to the line. He has been vanquished in his efforts to score a top three finish. Landa losing out on a podium place by just eight seconds. Nibali securing the overall second spot whilst it was a historic day for Ecuador. Chad Hager picking up an unexpected stage win. But it was all about Movistar's Richard Carapaz winning his first and his country's first Grand Tour in commanding fashion.